angles. We all use them, but do we actually know what they are measuring? Let me explain. Now, if I take two lines subtended from the same point, all an angle measures is how much do I need to rotate one line before it meets the other? It would be this measurement. Now, we in mathematics like to use the Greek symbol theta to measure this. And there's two different ways or two different main ways we like to measure something like this. The first one is a degree, probably the most common way that you guys are familiar with. Now a degree is known as a planar angle, which basically states a full circle is 360 degrees. And this was fixed a long time ago, most likely to do with observations of the constellations or that astronomy and that, where a full rotation around the sun is 365 degrees. This does the job just better because there's more factors. Now the other way is known as a radian. Now what does a radian measure? A radian is a unitless measurement. Degree has a unit. This is unitless. And the only question it asks us is, in a sector of a circle, sector meaning part of a circle, how many times bigger is this arc length relative to the radius? Yeah, this angle would call theta. So if I have a bigger sector, let's make it a little bit larger. You can see this length here becomes larger. The angle at the center would become larger. So the bigger the sector, the bigger the, bigger the radian. So you can see here it's part of a larger circle. Yeah, it looks all right. So these are the two different types of measurement. And radian is the most important one because we use it in calculus as it does not have a unit. If this is 2r, this is r, we're saying this is twice the size of the radius, so the angle here would be 2. Boys. Why aren't you following me, bruv?